uh, we're here. We're not just numbers. It's putting faces uh, to the foundation that has been built in Kansas City. Dozens of Kansas City employees are taking a stand against the city's new COVID-19 vaccination policy. Starting next week, unvaccinated workers will have to provide a negative COVID test every week. Fox Force Tia Johnson's live at City Hall tonight. Tia, you were there when some of those concerned workers met with a city councilman, Brandon Ellington. Yeah, Lauren, they were talking to Ellington about their concerns right now. Unvaccinated employees have to take a monthly COVID-19 at test at work for free, but starting next week, they'll have to pay $97 to take a weekly test. It's not the way dozens of Kansas City employees wanted to start the new year. And so it's like, OK, pay this or lose my job. Starting in January, unvaccinated workers who want a test provided by the city will need to pay $97. The city is making unvaccinated employees pay out of pocket for a weekly COVID-19 test. It's a requirement dozens of workers say they won't be able to afford. This union has, I would say, majority of, of employees that's at the living minimum wage, which is just under $16 an hour. And so with that, if you're asking someone to pay $97 a week, you know, that's going to really you know, put a burden on them. We're talking about free taxpayer dollars being reallocated third party entities and then we're forcing city people to pay. Councilman Brandon Ellington met with those who are upset and concerned. Fox 4 reached out to the city about this. They confirmed they're changing to weekly tests at the employees costs to more strongly encourage all employees to become fully vaccinated. The city's goal, a safer and healthier workplace. The workers acknowledge they could choose other free testing options or schedule at a pharmacy, but they argue that's a hassle to do weekly. They want to keep getting them on the job without a cost. If the city requires it, the city uh, should pay for it as they have been thus far. And Ellington said he is working on some type of ordinance to support unvaccinated city workers. Lauren.